Yo, what's up guys? So in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can catch a selection out of a dribble of cards. Let's get into it. All right, so here is what this thing uh, looks like. So we can start out by having somebody select a card, maybe from the dribble, just say stop, uh, stop right there, remember that card. I will look, it goes back into the deck somewhere. And uh, we can give it a quick shuffle if we want, just to make sure everything is nice and rando. All right, so what I'll do, Let's try to estimate it about where your card is, and you can help me by really focusing on your card. All right, just focus on your card real quick. Try to get an intuition or some vibes about what it is or where it might be. And you know what? I think I think I have a pretty good idea. And uh, I've been doing this card stuff for so long that I've developed some really sensitive fingertips when it comes to manipulating cards. See, I'll show you what I mean. Uh, focus on your card. I think I know where it is right now in the deck. Did I get it? What was your card? Jack of Spades? Okay, so this uses a special card that blends in right into your deck, and the card is right here, the Ace of Spades. So what is this card? Well, it's a card from a stripper deck. Yes, this deck I'm using right now is a normal deck of bicycle cards, but this Ace of Spades is from a bicycle stripper deck. And having this stripper card in a normal deck of cards allows you to do a lot of things, especially forcing. So what you want to do to make it easier for yourself is do the pencil dot combo that I love so much. Uh, put a dot in each corner of the card like this, and also an edge mark like this on the edge of the playing card. But uh, normally you would do it on opposite corners, but for this stripper card, you want to just put the edge marks on the narrow side of the uh, uh, stripper card okay so you have essentially a little gimmick in your in your deck which just looks like a normal card so if this bicycle stripper card is in a regular bicycle deck it allows you to do a lot of things for instance an automatic dribble force so you want to have the wide side towards yourself so you can tell that by the edge marks up here you always have the narrow side uh, pointing towards the audience like this so the wide side is towards you and for some reason when you dribble the deck you'll always stop on the uh, on the card right you'll always stop on that for some reason the force card in this case would be the ace of clubs and for some reason that I can't comprehend it always just stops there, even though this is the wide side of, of the stripper card, you just always stop there for some reason. I, I, and I've tried to mess around with it and try to study how it works, but I just don't know how it works. I just discovered it one day, and I was like, wow, there, there's a lot of things you can probably do with this. Speaking of, since the narrow side is towards the audience, that's an automatic roof force. Say stop any time, stop right there. It acts like a short card up there because it's the narrow side of the stripper card. All right, so automatic riffle, no break riffle force. All right, say stop any time, right there, boom, that's the card. And of course, doing the riffle force exposes the face of the card itself. Doing that dribble force exposes the card right above uh, the gaff. But I can go on all day about the different things you can do with this stripper card in, in a normal deck, but we'll just focus on this trick itself. So uh, you want to get a selection above that gaff there. So what you can do is just do the just do the dribble force I just showed you, all right? They say stop any time. And since it's a dribble trick anyway, it sort of makes sense, right? So say, say stop any time. You, you'll just always stop there. Just take my word for it. Go, if you have a stripper deck, just put it in your normal deck and you'll see what I mean. Or if you don't have one, um, they're not very expensive at all. Just go and uh, Vanishing Ink, Penguin Magic, and just... Uh, just buy a normal deck and a stripper deck, and it works best with um, blue cards. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Any color. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. And uh, they say stop. They remember their card, and you just dribble it, dribble the rest on top there. And so it really looks like and feels like there's no way you can possibly have any control over that card. Now you can shuffle the deck with confidence because you can see that edge of mark down there. So what I like to do is since it's about the middle of the deck, I just take my thumb through on the side there and just chop off a block of cards. As long as I go under that dot, I'm fine. So I just shuffle these on top of those. And now it's now it's towards the bottom, all right? So I can see that with the edge mark there. Now I just shuffle off until that ends up back somewhere 
in the middle and it's best if it's somewhere maybe above middle so you have more of a dribble to do now just like the dribble force when you dribble on the table, you just automatically stop on that card. So as soon as you feel that sort of, when it stops, you just reach in and grab grab the card. Uh, you just go in there like this. There it is right there. Just put your fingers in there and keep dribbling like this and just smoothly grab the card out. Now I'm sure you've heard of Mark Calabrese and he has an effect called grab, which is pretty close to this. I mean, I'm not claiming originality with this whatsoever, with this sort of uh, reaching in and grabbing a card out of a dribble. It's been around for years. In fact, Charlie Miller, I'm not, not Charlie Miller, but um, Max Malini has an effect just like this, where he just has a thumb break in the deck, and he does it like this. Say the card was a three of spades, and he would just do it from a thumb break. He would feel that thumb break happen like that like a dribble force and you just grab the card out and with this it's kind of like the same thing as max Molini's version because I, in my opinion this stripper card is sort of an automatic break right so you're just doing that same max Molini version but just with your automatic break with the stripper card right so all you have to do is just and it's also helpful to look about where you need to grab because of that edge mark because you can see it you can see the edge mark and the card is right where the edge mark is so you can sort of time it you can see it happen you can time it to where about where it is in the deck and then just do that now it's very important well not very important but it looks better whenever um you're here and to keep dribbling right don't do this and just take the card out and put those cards there. Uh, it looks better if you keep dribbling as you take it out, and I'll show you what I mean here. So we'll put it back where it was, boom, there it is, like this. So what I mean by that, as you go to take it out, like this, it's one smooth action, and just keep dribbling like this as you take it out. That way it doesn't look like sort of a, like a stop. I can't really teach you uh, the flow and the smoothness to get this to look like you're not just stopping and doing that is you have to, it takes a little bit of practice to get it looking like you actually grab the card out without making it look like, you know, a trickery, right? So it will take a little bit of practice to get it smooth, but uh, just uh, you want to really just go in there and grab it like this and then make it look as smooth as possible. A little practice, maybe a week of practice or so, and you'll be, um, you'll be smooth uh, like butter in no time. Another really cool thing you can do with a stripper card in a deck is if you have a selection or a card you want to keep control of under the stripper card, in this case the Ace of Clubs, uh, you can give the deck some tabled riffle shuffles and no matter how much you riffle shuffle that deck, that Ace of Clubs or whatever is under the stripper card would always be under the stripper card, okay? so. No matter how much time you shuffle the deck, and I'm really trying to give it some good shuffles to really show you that that ace of clubs or whatever underneath the uh, the stripper card was never going to move under it because it's a short card, so it always uh, nothing is going to go in between that those two, two cards if that makes any sense. It's a lot of fun to play around with, and there's so many things you can do with it. And for some reason, it also works as sort of a, a breather crimp for some reason. I don't know how it works as a breather crimp, but it always does. You'll always be able to cut to without having to riffle up the size to get the short card. You can always just cut right to it for some reason. I, it's beyond me how it works, but <laughs> for some reason, and I'm really trying to, there's no crimp, I promise, but it operates just like a breather crimp for some reason.